bag, my bag is under your bag. Just, just move over a little bit. Move down? Yeah, yeah. Just move over a little bit. There you go. You said so guys, Yeah, so you guys can say hi or whatever. Hey! <laughs> Wait, so we're having a discussion or something? I don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, we're going to interview you and then have a discussion oh, okay. and talk about, you know. Interview you? Hello? Well. No, I forget it now. I set it up differently. Yeah, it's working. All right. So you. All right, cool. I'll be able to do that part. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. As always, this is uh, this is the after party. This is Kiss and Tell. I'm Lenny Green, the host of Kissing After Dark. And uh, if you're just checking us out for the very, very first time, uh, we come out of New York City, and we have the number one nighttime love show in the tri-state of New York. It's a syndicated show, so it's about to go around the country. But in the meantime, until it does that, 
What we're going to do is uh, make sure that we bring it to you in whatever city you're in. That's why we do these streams, uh, for you kind of get a little impact, a little taste of what I do. And if you missed the show this week, we had some uh, very, very special guests on the show. A big shout out to Mint Condition for coming by. Appreciate that. And uh, to the porn star king, Mr. Marcus. I know you ladies wish <laughs> that y'all were. No, I'm not into porn stars. Uh, I think we talked about porn. But we could talk Sorry, about a few other I things tonight. I don't know tonight. what you do, but don't bring that near me. I mean, I know who it is, but I know I mean, you do. Because I mean, I mean, you own some porn. I do that. I mean, but come on now. Actually, you know, let, let me introduce the ladies first to y'all, just in case you're just, you know, checking us out for the first time. This young lady right here is Abracadabra Cadabra. <laughs> she hates that. <laughs> she does. She's like, like Houdini, you know? She's the female version of Houdini, baby. The young lady over here, that's Marquita. And you know these are, those are my homies. They they just you know they just show love and mad all the time, and uh, I really appreciate them. Of course, behind the scenes is my producer of Kissing Up the Dark Global Vito. Uh, but tonight we're joined by a very very special guest, and uh, this brother I've heard you know Vito he keeps me in the loop of who's breaking, who's hot, who we should look out for, and this gentleman who is uh, sitting beside me is a cat who we need to look out for because he is doing some exciting things. I've had the privilege of hearing uh, some of his music that he did that was unreleased in 2008. So I know the brother is definitely on point. He's working with a lot of producers right now. I believe he comes out of my borough. And, and that alone speaks volumes, you know, because he's from uh -huh. Brooklyn. Brooklyn is Brooklyn. Brooklyn, baby. His <laughs> name is Brooklyn. Unique, 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 unique. His name is Unique. And I guess you wonder why he's unique, because guess what? The brother has a unique style, he has a unique music, and he has unique delivery. And you will get a, a little taste of that because I believe Vito is going to uh, play. So we're going to feature awesome. some, something tonight. So you're going to get a little taste. But thank you, man. Thanks for coming me. by. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So just so everyone can kind of get familiar with who you are, uh, for the benefit of those who may be watching, can you kind of give us a, you know, a brief? I know it's a long history, but you're a young cat. So yeah. you know, give us a, a, a brief uh, idea of who you are, you know, what made you get into music, or do you come from a musical family, and uh, what is unique making a statement on, like what what kind of style, or what, what kind of messages do you bring forth in your music? Um, well, you said my name is unique, so they know that. Now. They know that, yes. But, uh, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, born and raised. Born and raised, yeah. what section? Bed Star Project. Oh, okay, all so, right. So, um, music Thank is something that's always been a part of my life, you know? Before I could even think music was what I wanted to do or was what I was doing. Gotcha. So from talent shows to being in performing arts high school and junior high school and joining the, the church right. choirs and like that. being that kid that always wanted more than the hood, you know. So I started there and eventually I just grinded it and built my built my buzz through my space and the and the viral network mm. and asking my mother if she could print out flyers at her job and getting in trouble just so that people would know me and uh you know in, in 2008 I, I, I got my first record deal and that was with Def Jam. Oh really? Um, yeah. Congratulations though. I ain't finished yet. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just thinking, I congratulate you. Thank, you. Okay. Thank you. I mean I, I was with Def Jam. I didn't get to see a release date so okay. it, it was still an accomplishment because I'm just a dude from Brooklyn and I'm signed to a major label so that was an accomplishment. It didn't work out, and um, you know, I parted ways, and I actually just recorded an album called From Brooklyn to You, which is out in Japan, doing really well. Mm -hmm. I have the number one single for four weeks. What made you go the route of overseas? Because that, that's a very, pun to term, unique approach to kind of getting an audience. It wasn't even a conscious decision, actually. I, I had been working on my U.S. album, and one of the writers that I was working with, Little Eddie, was also out in Japan, and and a writer for Kylie Minogue and Maya and some other artists. He's my homeboy, he was going to a dinner and he said, yo, Unique, I want you to come with me. So I go to the dinner, we're hanging out and he happened to be meeting with, with someone from Manhattan Records and they saw me and wanted to know what I did. So I said, I sing. You know, I was a kid that if you were at my school for career day, I was like, can I sing for you? <laughs> so they was like, I, I want to hear, I, I, I want to hear something. And you know, my manager makes, put it together and, and they heard the music and, and that's how the Japan deal came together. So it, I think God wow. set that up for me. No, well, you know what? By you saying that word, God sets up, it's going to set up so many things for you. So obviously you're a spiritual cat, which is a great thing. I mean, and we should mention, uh, we already peaked some information that you, did you go on tour with Neo and Chris Brown already? Yeah. So we understand the magnitude of those cats and you're just not going to be on tour just because. 
So obviously, and I haven't had a chance. Have you ladies had a chance here? No. So we're we're like you know we're like underserved right now because we haven't had a chance to see this but perform. But uh, obviously, 2011, we're definitely going to see you perform. Definitely. And I didn't want to put it on the record right now. Uh, the next Kissing After Dark live show, if your schedule permits, I would love for you to be one of my guests. So I can definitely see you perform with no holes barred for sure. Mm -hmm. That's right? So we can definitely do that for sure. But. Um, uh, it seems like you had a very nice journey, man. I mean, you're a young, you're a young brother. It's out. It's been, it's been a, a mixture. It's been a journey, rough times, of course. Um, you know, it's a constant grind, and, and releasing music independently in the state is something that's not easy. So I, I appreciate you even having me here. No progress without struggle. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, the bottom line is, you won't be able to appreciate success if you don't understand what the grind is. So obviously you've been through the trenches a little bit. You got your knees scarred up a little bit. Maybe you had a little disappointment along the yeah. way. But hopefully that allowed your armor to uh, be a little stronger mm -hmm. as you continue to pursue this industry. And uh, I know the lady sitting to your left, you know, she's definitely, you're probably going to have some nice conversations. Yeah, uh, we can do Japan. Japan's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't man. been yet. Oh, you're not going to want to leave. They just love, like, um, American culture, especially music, they appreciate it so much more. You go into the record stores, they have the producer's name on the record with the artist. And it's just like from fashion to like um, break dancing, b boying, like all of that stuff. Like they. I heard so much about it. Like I, I received a picture from a fan in Japan. And I said, I haven't been yet. They. It was like a whole section in the store. Yeah, all your store. stuff, right? And I almost, <laughs> I felt nauseous. Because I, I know that this is what I've been working for for mm -hmm. so long with rejection. But to actually see and know there's a physical copy that you could look at and read the book and look at the pictures. I was like, wow, you know, yeah. dreams are coming true. And, and here I am not in, in New York. And people over there are making me number one. So You know what, man? You, you, you sound like a brother who I just recently heard in Madison Square Garden that uh, kind of said the same thing. He said, uh, I, I can't believe I'm playing Madison Square Garden. Who would ever think a kid from Brooklyn would be living this dream that I've always wanted to do, and that kid is Maxwell. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you, you were my, and, and that was just on the tour that he just came off of. I went to see the show, and this, I heard the enthusiasm, and I know how hard it is, because you know what? It, it really is unbelievable at times. You know, it's like, a, you can't believe as life will, will move forward and you start to gain success and notoriety and you know people will start recognizing you and appreciating what you do in your music and then but your star is getting brighter and brighter and brighter so for you to uh, to say that that says a lot and uh, hopefully you know you just continue to stay focused man and you understand what the, where, where it all began and mm -hmm. how you grow but never forget where you come from I mean that that's the key and that's that's what I say you're living my dream because my first love was singing. They say all DJs are frustrated singers. What? You never knew. I, I, I never knew. knew. <laughs> I never knew. Yeah, well, I, let me hear something. No, 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 I had, oh, I, had a, well, I had a group. Half I had a group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just, just a quick story. What was the name of the group? <laughs> nah, we didn't get into that. You know, go to LennyGreen.com. The bio's right okay. there. I think we took uh, that paragraph out, but the first <laughs> stuff was there. But, you know, uh, by the time I got to college, that, that refocus came, and, mm -hmm. and then I fell in love with this, and I love this. But the old saying goes that DJs are frustrated singers that never made it. So you're a brother from Brooklyn. You sing. I wish you guys blessings. I know you're going to do well. Based on what I've heard already, I know Thank you're going you. to do well. So it's just a matter of time, man. We're just going to put a little, just a little extra steam behind you. But you got the locomotive already in motion. So that, that's it's funny one. you mentioned the Apollo, but I forgot to say that I actually was that kid waiting to 1 o'clock to see the kids section really? at the Apollo. And uh, for so long, I wanted to go on. You said the kids section. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, because you want to be in the kids section? section? You know what I mean. Oh, Every okay. night at the Apollo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from him, right? He's a young brother. And, um, I, I got the chance to do it. I, I actually sang Usher's You Got It Bad, and it was almost the end of the song, and wow. I got booed. Wow. Oh, wow. It's character I, building. I felt, yeah, it, it is. is. It is, and I'm glad it happened because now things, like, I've fallen off the stage, tripped. It's like, okay, that's cool wow. because I've experienced that, and um, I just felt like the world was crashing down. You know what I mean? Like, 
here I am on TV with everyone looking, and I got booed. Well, you know they booed mean? Lauren Hill too. Yeah. yeah. They booed Brandy. A lot of people. And these are all people that I admire. Out. So right? they booed. And what's after the Apollo? They booed Destiny's Child. Summer <laughs> <laughs> Jam. Summer Jam. Yo, wow. a deal is already in the making. <laughs> you know what? And here's the deal. And Vito spoke it so strongly. I couldn't understand why every time Destiny's Child would come to New York. They would get booed. I'm like, what the hell? They, they're a good sounding group. They're signed to a major label. Mm -hmm. They have hit records. New York Boo. is hard. They just from yeah. another place. That's why. It's Texas is it? like a different swag. It, I guess totally so. different. I guess so. I guess maybe so. that's why. So, Brother Unique, how would you describe your music, man, for those who haven't heard it? Um, it's a mix of things. It's, it's definitely R&B because that's the root and, and what I started in. But it's R&B, it's pop, it's a little bit of rock. It, it, it's, it's heartfelt. To say the least, you know what I mean. I, I try to sing about what I feel people are going through or what I may be going through, and I can't speak speak it. Mm. So mm. Mm. I don't want to say too much. I'd rather you hear and then we make a judgment. You have a song that I heard. Uh, actually, I saw the video. Uh, Maniac. Yeah. What were you going through then? Who was the maniac? That's what I want to know. Was it you or was it, it was could it be? <laughs> was the third 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 person experience? Like I said, I, when I can't say the things I need to say, I say it through my through my music. And um, of course, I've had a couple maniacs. How about you? You've had? Wow. Yeah. Or you wow. have a couple no. maniacs. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. We want to give you a taste of what the brother can do. Vito's got it set up. So we're going to turn up the volume a little bit so you can hear it. And uh, post up. Let us know what you think. All right? This is unique. You.
That's a hell of a relationship. That's Amen. brother unique, baby. That's brother unique. Yeah, call me crazy, but you know what? I, do we fall for the crazy chick all the time? I yeah. think so. Yes. I think if, if it's too easy, it's not fun. Hey. Yes. Hold no, 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 dude. What dude. did I just say? I agree. I, I said if you're not crazy, you're not interested. Basically. You got somebody calling for you. You got to. Okay. We're, we're, we're going to take calls tonight, so if you want to uh, if you want to call in, we're going to try to do this in a great way. Uh, okay, hang up. Yeah. So the number is uh, 212-352-5775, right? 212-352-5775. Uh, I want to thank Shh for being on live. Appreciate that. Uh, Camille Sarah, thank you for uh, checking in with us as well. And you're patiently waiting for the album and I guess so all of us are uh, when is there an anticipated time uh, obviously you don't have a deal at the moment right? Mm, no not in the states not in the states but in Japan mm. so are you going to do some kind of certain releases yeah um well maniac is the first single right now putting a mixtape together right now so okay there'll be music coming from me and more performances and a lot video. you know the videos be launching actually yes hold on, on Monday okay. I'm having a premiere right. party at pop burger uh, oh, right here in the city. So y'all should come in for free. And uh, what time? Uh, 7 to 1. 7 p.m. to 1. Of course, right? You know what? I'm going to cheat on Monday night. I'm going to cheat on Monday night for three purposes. And he's one of the purposes I'm going to be cheating Monday night. So. Papa is the best. Yep. And the lamb pops. <laughs> Let's go to the telephones. We got a call. Hello. 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 How are you? Are we on the radio? Uh, you're close to the radio. <laughs> What's your name? You have a question for Unique? Yeah. He can hear you. Go ahead, baby. Okay. When the next time you gonna get a Prudential Center? Prudential Center. In the who? Prudential. Prudential Center. 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 On oh, the NJ oh. Pack, right? NJ Pack in New Jersey, right? Yeah. Uh, soon, I hope. I, I'm. My, I just released my single, so I hope to perform there really soon. My auntie gone crazy over you. Sell said thank you. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Call her crazy. Yeah, she's a maniac. Ta Ty said thanks for the love. <laughs> thanks for calling, baby. Appreciate it. Oh, man. Um, you can just... Oh, yeah, when you found out that Carl, you remember me, I took that picture with you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. That's a good thing. That's a... Hey, man. Hi, nice to... Thanks for calling in. Mom. I remember y'all. Okay, thank you. Hey, you know that that's 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 love right there. That's that's mm -hmm. real love. You know, uh, with, you got a mother and a daughter situation. Yeah, that's uh, two, two drastic. Generation. Yeah, two drastic yeah. generations. <laughs> two maniacs. That uh, appreciate your music, so that should that should uh, make you feel pretty good. Yeah, it's an accomplishment. I think more than monetary things and, and I guess fame is for people to feel my music. You know what I mean? And, and it doesn't yeah. matter what age they are. No, no, because music is music, and whatever you say in your music obviously touches the soul and touches the person in such a unique way mm -hmm. that uh, they can relate to it and it and becomes uh, very, very happening. So, uh, <laughs> we can start off our conversation tonight, because this is Kiss and Tell. And Kiss and Tell, uh, every night I, I deal with love, sex, and relationship topics. And, uh, well, let's talk about it tonight, because I'm sure your music relates to relationships. Mm -hmm. Uh, you've been in, are you in love? Are you, uh, let's find out the stats on, on Unique. Are, are, are you in a relationship? With music. <laughs> That's a good, good answer. answer. <laughs> the same good answer, answer. hold answer. on, answer. hold on. <laughs> the same answer Maxwell gave me. No, <laughs> that wow. The That's same a answer and and just a few cool. months ago. That's what's up. <laughs> Shout out to did, Maxwell. Yeah, but did you, did you, did you talk with them before? <laughs> I've uh, never met Maxwell. Oh, okay, all right. Same answer though, okay. All right, that's good. Um, and uh, so, but you've been in relationships. Yes. Okay. How old are you now? Twenty-one. <laughs> okay, so 20. I got some time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. You got a lot of time, bro. A lot, a lot of time to definitely explore and do so crazy, many things. That's why when he says the kids part, I was like, how? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Oh, you know what? Hey, look, look. At twenty-one, I experienced my first older woman relationship. How old? Thirty-two. Dad. And, <laughs> oh, you saying the same thing? Oh. <laughs> That's big. Here's the crazy part. Here's the crazy part about it. 
This whole thing that I talk about with the, the candles and the, the romancing, I, I'll give full credit right. to her. To her. She kind of uh, really introduced me to romancing a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know. She popped this cherry. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> yes, yeah, she, yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. She, she popped. I hate to admit cherry. this, but yeah, yeah, okay. Right if a dude can have his cherry party. popped, I guess I was definitely yeah. popped. Who could wait? <laughs> And the whole time. And, and you know what? She was divorced. And wow. All you can say is, wow. I mean, lingerie. I was my first time, like, lingerie. Like, she was trying to marry she, you. She, she no, no. She, she, she definitely there. popped the cherry. I'll, I'll go with your turn. Yeah. She really? popped the cherry. They like them young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's they? <laughs> Cougars like you. <laughs> I'm only playing. I'm only playing. Only playing. Well, but my husband is what six years younger than you. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, there you go. So you, he, he's absolutely right. They do like me. Um, but we talked about this week. I, I spoke about. Um, I talked about sex and and how important is it in uh, a relationship. Yeah. How much of an important factor? Let's we'll start with you, Mr. Guess, Mr. Unique. Uh, how, how important do you feel sex is in a relationship? Very. <laughs> very, very. Like, very, very, very important. I, I mean, as long as you're safe and, and use protection, it's very important. Yeah, well, that's true. And, and I'm glad you, you know, said use protection because that is so vitally important that uh, we, we definitely do that, mm -hmm. uh, use protection. Um, they say, statistics, that the average person has sex... 127 times a year. That's bald. You say more? I mean, you realize that that's twice a week? Oh, so I guess it's more. It depends on the relationship because if I'm, Let's talk a, about you. If I'm with somebody and I'm not feeling them like that, it's, it's probably going to well, be like 50 times a year. But hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Here's my problem. Here's my problem, though. I know what you're going to say. Exactly. Why are you going to stay Why with Why are you them? with the dude if you're, if you're not, not feeling him? Feeling That's another though. reason. So I don't know. Who's paying the bill? Because she loves him. She's a maniac. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, Bob And you know what? That's a problem, ladies. That's a problem. Let, let's, let's, let's put this out on the table right now. Here's the problem. You're going to get mentally scarred, emotionally disrupted, if you stay or get, continue to allow yourself to be in relationships that is really unhealthy for you psychologically and emotionally. Mm -hmm. uh, a young lady called up last night, and she was emotional. She, she broke down on the air because oh, no. she's involved with the guy. Mm -hmm. Now, she the first problem that she made a mistake on, she knew the dude was married. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. At the very beginning. Yeah. No, Here's no, a twist no, point. Nowhere but down. He's married, but he's living with his mama. What? what? Exactly. What kind of bullshit is she that? She should have already known that that was a dysfunctional situation from the jump. Obviously so. He's Why are you going to get involved with a dude who is married, lunch strike, and now still living with your mama? Come on, man. Oh my God. Here's the other uh, twist. Was he separated? Was okay, yeah. I guess if he's living with his mama, yeah, yeah, he must he be separated, separated, right? But guess what? You're still married. Which I personally have a personal taboo on. Like, it, once you've gotten yeah. married, I kind of have to wipe you off my That's state. Right. Hey, I got options. But some people, That's they right. are separated for years. Yeah, because, right, because a person... Because they can't them. really, like, they agree on the assets, whatever the case may be. You know, I think every situation is different. I agree. Every situation is different. But you know what? I mean, have you, at the tender age that you're <laughs> <Tinder>. on, have <laughs> you stayed in a relationship just because? No, I think, um, especially with the stress of, not, I wouldn't say stress, but there's so many things that go on with my career as far as music and the, the pressure for that, I don't want to be in anything that makes me unhappy. You know what I mean? Well, I'm glad you said stress, and there is stress in relationships, man, when it comes to careers. Mm -hmm. um, what would, what's the, what's, the, or what's the first two questions that you often get with, in terms of stress uh, and when it comes to relationships? Mm -hmm. Like, are you challenged with a certain couple of questions from a young lady that you just meet? You know, you're attracted to her. You're obviously, your you know your your first attraction is your your love is to your music, and your first focus is to your music. Mm -hmm. But as you you know start start to like this lady, young lady, would you say that you know she may want to demand more of your time? Obviously, your time is absorbed in what you love and what you're doing. That's your mm -hmm. music. I, mm -hmm. I get that 100. percent so, 
what are some of the couple of, what are the questions that you have to face when you're dealing with a young lady who is wanting to get to know Unique better, mm -hmm. wanting to spend time with you, or wanting a more committed relationship? I think for me, anyone that I've dealt with or, or deal with is are people that I've known for a while. You know what I mean? So the whole getting to know thing is kind of, we don't have to do that. Good. You know what I mean? I, I feel like at, at the point I am in my career and where it's going, it's kind of hard to meet people because you don't know what their intentions are or what they're feeling you for. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, as, as far as time, it, it is hard. Because right. if, if I'm not in the studio, I'm in the gym. And if I'm not in the gym, I'm in an interview. And if I'm not there, I'm at rehearsal. So oh, it's wow. almost like you have to be selfish, <laughs> but this is what mm -hmm. your, your career is and what's, uh, you know. I'm kind of interested to know, like, what was the longest relationship? Because that would help <laughs> with that what's question. What's the longest relationship yeah, at because, 21? Yeah, because, I mean, some people have teenage love, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, like, okay. it, it's... Plays a part in. I'm kind of curious too. Go ahead, man. Yeah, I like kind of. Go ahead, unique. I don't want to say nothing. I'll be like, that's it. No. No, no, no. Look, that's your truth. No, that's real talk. I mean, we know people, kids today start at five, right? <laughs> wow. No, they do. I'm serious. They, yeah, they started they five years old. Like oh, that's nine, that's yeah. his little girlfriend. Yeah. My girlfriend. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um, my longest relationship. Uh, when it was for real, for real. When I thought I was in a relationship. Yeah, what you consider? Puppy love. Puppy love? I mean, that's what I was going through. Well, I was in this really twisted relationship. <laughs> <laughs> that was the main guy. But I don't really think... Is <laughs> that the expression? Yeah, we get to the bottom of it now. Now, now we get into the grit. I, I, I was in a... When I was in... What was it? Junior, elementary school. So, let me tell you the story. <laughs> there was this girl that I had a crush on forever. And you always go for the ones that don't really pay you attention. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? The mm -hmm. ones that flirt with you but don't really take the next step. Yeah. So, um, I won't say her name because I don't know if she's watching. Uh, but um, I, I, I thought we had something, and, and that went on from my uh, elementary to junior high school, and then right. I had to realize that wow. she ain't really into me. So, no. how, how long is that? Uh, about four years. Yeah. Four yeah. Years. Four years. I used to That's beat little boys time. up and take their pennies. When What's I was that? little, I used to beat them up and take their I pennies. You know, when you're little, like, like that's when you know you like somebody. When you, you beat each other <laughs> up, you know, like. <laughs> I used to beat him up just because I could. Abuse. Abuse starts at a young yeah. age. I, I didn't really fight girls when I was I mean, that's I like a boy. crush. You know, like when you're little, little, like the guy, yeah. the little boy that's always picking on you. Yeah. Like, he keep bothering me because he likes you. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I, I was trying to be grown with my crush, though. <laughs> Uh, you know how you played shoot for dare in school? You no. trying to get it? No, 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 no. I, I, I remember this. You like, safe her, right? No. Uh, see, uh, that's why you didn't get us. But what I did do, we were in a, in, a, in a schoolyard, and this was in elementary, and I dared. I was. We, I I came up with the idea to play shoot for dare, mm -hmm. and I, I wanted someone to dare me so bad to kiss her. Mm -hmm. I said, damn it, kiss her, dare me to kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> so, they dare me, I kissed her. The principal found out, and later that day, I was inside of the office counting papers and folding things together. How's the principal and, find out? Because people talk, yep. I guess. Whoa. And um, I, I, I got in trouble that later that night for kissing. But, you know, you learn. Yeah, it, yeah you live and learn. Uh, <laughs> Camille said, that, that doesn't count. Your experience doesn't count. Really? Yeah, it doesn't count. But you know what? It is what it is. I mean, come on. The, the brother is, you know, I, I don't know. You know, obviously you found music or music found you at what age? Before I was talking and, and my fans and people who, my family can attest to that. You know, when yeah. I was in the stroller, I was humming. <laughs> when I, when I really mean. started singing, I remember being probably like four or five. But my mom and my family members knew that I was singing. This is uh, Kiss and Tell, baby. This is the after party. We're joined tonight by, of course, the ladies, uh, Marquita and Cadabra. But we're also joined by a young man who you need to be on the lookout for, hot new R&B vocalist. Uh, well, actually, he's, he's a vocalist. He's a, he's a music vocalist that sings from the soul. Uh, how you categorize his music will be determined up to you. But his name is Unique. He comes out of my beautiful borough of Brooklyn, New York, and uh, we're sitting down and chatting with him and chopping it up. Uh, we're going to do something a little different tonight, just in case you'd like to take it a step further, there's a phone number that you can call, and that's 212-352-5775. That's a, a number right here in the studio, and you can uh, call us up and you can talk directly to Brother Unique, or if you have a comment or a question, 
about one of the topics that we're talking about tonight. We're talking about first sex, and we you know, kind of deviated and kind of went to the left a little bit, but that's what we're talking about. Here's a, another interesting uh, fact that I came across this week, that younger people are more, are more likely candidates, in fact, younger women are as likely as younger men to be unfaithful. Obviously so, though, because they're learning, I think, what commitment or what, maybe with the exception of... When you're young, you're people. not supposed to be committed. That's your rule. No, you young. You young. You're supposed well, well, to be testing out stuff. You know? Oh, so yeah, that's that's time yeah. to be. That's time to be. No, I'm not gonna say no, yeah. but that's that's the time to be well, experimental. Be, exactly. Promiscuous. Exactly. Be, oh, is that what you were? Up um, until what no, age? actually, I was. I think it was you hundred. I was listening to this morning. <laughs> anyway, they were talking about like women, like when they're more likely to cheat is right. when during like when they ovulate. Really? Yeah, like two weeks, like after the end of their cycle is like, I mean, it makes sense because that's like, the, you know, when you're supposed to. I did a lot of homework this week. I got, I got stats of that too. Know. Cheating spouses. <laughs> right, straight to the point. Cheating spouses. <laughs> Statistics confirm that fifty, uh, that fifty and seventy percent of married men between uh, thirty-eight to fifty-three million men, to be exact, have oh. cheated or will cheat on their wives. But one study found that two out of every three wives, and that means like 26 to 36 million ladies, uh, whose husbands were cheating, and were cheating themselves unbeknown, or before the husband started cheating. So. Who did the, who did this? Hey, look, 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 millions look, of people, like, to, that's some, you know, that's a heck of a study that they went through millions of people. <laughs> hey, I got, I got people who stayed up all night. Because <laughs> they didn't give me a Because I would have told them, millions of people, that's a heck of a study. I would have told them. Hell, hell yeah. Your natural system shut down, this coochie belongs to my husband. <laughs> well, you know what, that's what, that, your coochie is supposed to belong to your husband, <laughs> as well as whatever he has belongs to you. I mean, that's what it's all about. That's what right. you think you need. I mean, you what, what, what do you think about as far as being I mean, married, just like everything, yeah. you know, we're talking about I mean, I, I, I relationships. Think if, you're, like, if you're married, yo, shit be it. Right. right. Yeah, of course. This right. is not leave it to beaver. That is not the way things happen. Like, stuff I mean, happens. If, 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 I mean, if that's the case, then why start getting involved? You know what I mean? You I'm know, not saying I'm perfect. Exactly. It's a gray area. Yeah, I, I guess. But you know what? See, look. He's Young like, brother. no, no, exactly. she's like, There's no, no she's gray like, area. no way. Yeah. There's no gray area. There's no gray area. Once, no. you, I have a question. once you get married, it's over. If you yes, want to still okay, I have a question. Let's say, let, let's say you're married, right? Yeah. And then things start now. So you say, okay, I don't want to be with this person. Well, I'm getting divorced today. Is that how it works? <laughs> well, I've heard. I've never been married, but I've heard that people fall in and out of love. Yes. I, yeah. I, yes. But that doesn't yeah. mean that you go through drastic that. measures. That's true. That don't mean you sleep with the block. Yeah. <laughs> he said the block. He didn't say one person. He said the block. The block. That's a great point. Yeah, that's a 21. We can't. We can't. Right there. <laughs> no, but you know what? He rather hit the brother is 21. I respect you for that. That's right. <laughs> What he means to sleep around, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. come on. You, you, granted, this brother probably could do it in one day, yeah. but an yeah. older guy like me had to do it in one month. It's still sleeping around. Yeah. No, no. I mean, no, I think I understand that right here. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Kiss and tell, baby. That's this is what kiss and tell is all about. So let's go to let's go to another topic tonight. The next topic tonight is how long should you date someone <laughs> before you meet the kids? Uh, if you know, because chances are there, there's so many there's so many young adults out here. There's so many there's so many people that's unlike me. Like I don't have any children at my old age, but the average person has children. You keep saying yeah. he's old. He's the, what is with that? I, I'm only 20. What, uh, Are they still swimming? Well, you're not old. That's <laughs> if you, as long as they still swimming, you're not old. Yeah, you're right. They're still swimming. <laughs> All right, wow. then. They're still They're active. swimming, though. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know? let's go. That's a science class. <laughs> so that's a biological class that we can't even. Yes. But how long should you date someone before they meet? Like, you know, you're dating, you, you meet a young lady, unique, and uh, she has a, a kid. Do you, you know, fall back and... And not meet the kid, or do you? Are you one to want to meet the child? That's a tough one. Uh, I love kids, but I don't think I want to be involved with anyone that has a kid. I mean, if if, if it's something that we just doing the thing, right. then it's cool. But I don't. I wouldn't want to take a, a responsibility of having to be 
somebody else. So somebody else's father. Mm. <laughs> not, 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 not right now, at least. What's wrong with that? Yeah, not right like, now, see, at least. What's wrong with that, though? See, no, I got I, I, listen, again. by all means, I, I respect his opinion. I do. I, I respect anybody's opinion. Because, okay. you know, how you feel is how you feel. But, see, speaking from a mother's point of view, I don't want you to be my kid's daddy. They have a daddy. Mm. You are there for me. Right. You know, uh, if, let's say we were dating. You, you're there for me. Now, I'm not saying that if you come by, I want you to ignore my children, mm. acknowledge them. Yeah. Hey, 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 Ricky Bobby, hey, hey, my Ricky Bobby, Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, what's the kid here? Yeah. Uh, All right. Well, we need you to support them. Mm. I, I mean, it's taken care of. Mm. You're supposed to be there for me. Now, if the, if the relationship got serious where we were going to get married, now that's a different yeah. story. I mean, I respect that. I'm just I'm talking about where I am now. And, okay. and I totally agree with you. Like, I didn't grow up with having my mom and my dad. So mm -hmm. for my mom to have a boyfriend, I had to accept it. And basically, like you said, he was there for her, but we are affected by it. You know what I mean? I got I still got to respect him. And it's still going to, if, if y'all serious together, then I have to respect him as that figure right. in my life. Yeah. Right. But It's just a, a male male figure. I got discriminated male. against him because I was a teenage mother. And, you know, I, I only have, I, well, I still have my one boy, but I'm saying, like, you know, there were guys that missed out because they was like, oh, I didn't, you know, you had a kid, so then, you know, they went on dating somebody else. Now they got four or five kids, and mm -hmm. I still got my one kid. Like, mm -hmm. life is like, I mean, it depends on the person. And I respect you for knowing like what you can handle mm -hmm. and what you're not I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. like i just think like being upfront and honest and being that person to say hey this is not right what i want to do yeah because a lot okay. of guys lie too they, they they say oh yeah you know i love kids and they get around your kids maybe y'all happen to be walking down the street when they the person that did that to me, though, he was listening to his older yeah. brother. And they, they get cool with the kids because they're like, trying you know? to get cool with you. Yeah. yeah I, I, that, I, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. I told you, like, I don't want to meet my, my right now. I love mm -hmm. kids. Well, you know how I am. I'm dating them with children. Too, but, you know, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. You know, it's difficult because, like, that's, like, one of the things I always think about, like, wanting to talk to uh, females that are like teenage mothers, like your whole life gets shifted. Like mm -hmm. you're doing everything at the wrong time that you're supposed to be doing it. Mm -hmm. And you're going through things your friends aren't going to, through, so you can't talk to them about it. But it's all about the decisions you make with your child and like what you're gonna do after that. Because I, I finished school, you know, I did my music writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did a whole bunch of things. Like it's, I think a lot of things are case to case. I was going to say that. I, mean, I think it's a beautiful thing, like, being that my mom had me such a, at, at such a young age. She did a good job. We, mm -hmm. we grew up together, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, nah, I think I like this girl. Yeah. What should I do? Yes, you know what yes. I mean? Should I call her? <laughs> yeah. What should I say? And, 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 and even with her, she's like, yo, Unique, I'm going out. I need I need you to help me. I need you. What should I wear? So, I grew that's up so in cool. that way, and, yeah. and even with my music, I think that's why I'm so passionate in, in the way I treat women and, and what I want to sing about because I watched my mother deal with dudes that weren't so good and dudes that were really there and supported her and me, you know what I mean, and my little sister. So you're right, case to case is yeah, the best. That's that's cool because I grew up with my son too. I understand that, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. Like, yeah. I used to go to school, he'd be like, oh, your mom got tattoos, your mom's yeah. cool. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo, so yo, I write music, like, you know, he, they, my son's and I'm better than his, um, my That's son's dope. friends. Like, they like, I'm like, yeah, let's say something. I, 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 would be excited, I would be excited for, like, open school night. I'm like, Ma, wear those shoes. Oh. <laughs> I want you to come. That's cool. And it's good because we get to show you how. That's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. But my son is so protective. His friends be looking at me all the time. My son is, That's my mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, mother. yeah. That comes with the same height as me now. He yeah. like, oh, that's my mother. He's great. Okay. Oh God, I love that kid. Yep. Yeah. So when you uh, what's, what's up? You gotta catch up. Oh yeah, well I, you know, I'm just sitting back and, and I'm checking what's online. Uh, a couple of people just wanted, they just can't wait to, to meet you and uh, see how you are uh, in concert as a performer. Um, and we should mention that you do have a couple of videos. You've been you've been doing some work. You have a couple of videos that's out that people can check well, out. Well, I don't have any. 
I have a, a video that we shot for beat of my drum that's out, but the official video, my first official video will be for Maniac, which will be premiering on Monday. So Maniac premieres on Monday at Pop Burger? Yes. Pop Burger. Pop Burger's in the meatpacking district. And it's a it's a hot spot. Uh you know, it's kind of got put on the map. I heard that Jay Z and Beyonce they go. Papa. I've never been to. Pa I've Papa, walked by this joint. Like, that's what we were gonna like, do. Too. Oh, you mean like they White Castle? French fries. That's what we were gonna do. Mm -hmm. right? They got the lollipop. They're sliders. They're sliders, actually. Like White Castle? No, it don't taste like White Castle. It's like they make them. Oh, you know, I mean, White Castle is bomb. I mean, you know, <laughs> White Castle. Look, I, is, is that old school or what? But why is? I know White Castle is old school, y'all. However. It's they still around. It works. It still works. Call it's called burgers. murder burgers. Yeah. <laughs> you said murder burgers. The shit burgers. Yeah, because yeah, constipated. Oh, oh, about two, three o'clock in the morning, you'll be hitting that bathroom. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm Lenny Green, uh, the host of Kissing After Dark, uh, and I appreciate you being logged on with us tonight. This is our roundtable discussion that we have every Friday night, and uh, we started right after my show. So I apologize for kind of getting in here a little too late because I'm coming from one studio into the next studio. But uh, I'm happy that uh, we all came together tonight, and I'm happy that you are joining us tonight as well. Um, we're just talking about a variety of different things when it comes to love and relationships, and maybe we'll sprinkle some interesting things that relates to sex. Uh, of course, that's a part of the makeup when it comes to relationships as well. Brother Unique is uh, uh, an artist that is a singer. Please look out for him in 2011. He's doing a lot of things, and he's blowing up even stronger this year. Uh, he's already blowing up in Japan. And I know it will continue to progress in an upward bow for him. The next question and topic that I'd like to put on the table, though, y'all, is do women buy their engagement rings or wedding bands to deter unwanted suitors? All right, let me, let me, let me rephrase that. Do women buy what do think? their own <laughs> engagement rings or wedding bands, all right, to deter unwanted suitors, i.e. prospects, i.e. whatever? Do they do that? Not me. Marquita doesn't. I don't know. You too long. <laughs> wow. And you know what? I don't, I don't, y'all, y'all, y'all. I mean, do guys do that? Guys don't do that, right? Just, nah, I'm not going to do that. Guys don't do that. No, because nah. they're not trying to push us away. They're trying to get as many of us as they can. No, Ooh. no, no, no. We, we don't want all, we don't want all y'all. I mean, we definitely don't want all y'all. I mean, you know, I think. I said we never know all y'all. No, we definitely don't. I think women have a bad perception on them. What do you think? I mean, I, I know I. Go ahead, go I know, I know. You're just like coming on the marketplace. Help today, so he feel good. He yeah, I feel good. Stuff. I got a male. Women, women, women have a bad perception. A bad perception of men. You know, they think that the only thing that we want is sex. I mean, granted, sex is definitely come something on. that we want. I'm not gonna lie. But there's more to us than just that. I think yeah. it can work both ways. You know, sometimes women just want sex. Sometimes women want sex. You know, More than we do, and let's also keep this in mind, brother. They know <laughs> when they if they're going to give it to you yeah, exactly. as soon as they meet you. They got the power. They own the, the power of the P is a power. That's a powerful thing. Make me change things. Pussy power. Pussy it's, power. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's real. It's, it really is real. Uh, sure uh, is. Women know as soon as they meet a man if they are going to take this to the next level or mm -hmm. it's just going to be platonic and friends. Now, things may change. Maybe the status yeah. of a man will change uh, a, a woman's perspective. Oh, yeah. But for the most part, I mean, the average Joe, they know if they want to rock with you or not. If they don't want to rock with you, they'll let you know that too. Yeah. They don't have a problem saying, well, my boyfriend, and I know this yeah, women yeah, are very yeah. proud of that. Well, my boyfriend. They throw that, that in your face. It's oh. Like you know. Or when they talking to you, they're like, oh, yeah, you know, when they got that. Uh -huh. Bring on. Mm. I mean, I, 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 it, it works case to case again. Like mm. you said, women have perception of men, but we're not all the same. And women are, are not all the same. But I think sometimes in my cases, I feel like women are more attracted or will want to give you some if they know that you you're got in a situation. Because they want to know what it's like. Uh, and vice versa. Uh, I'm not just saying women, you know what I mean? You mean a situation okay. meaning you have a girlfriend? Or you could be or you to just chill with somebody. Yeah. Like, well, you know what? I guess because before. they feel like, well, she's with you for a reason. Mm -hmm. And the first thing we think well. of is either money. <laughs> You know what? I'm not gonna give away all the secrets tonight, but you know. But you got money or that that thing that well, you while I'm single, <laughs> real good. While I'm single, right? While I'm single, <laughs> while I'm single nobody's checking for me. As soon as I decide to see you seriously, 
Now, everybody wants to fill me up. That's an insecure woman. No, 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 no. no. I'm not talking about insecurity. woman that wants to deal with somebody. No one wants that, that, that no with one wants. Somebody. See, she just said it right. <laughs> he said that. She said it right there. I want to tweet that. Yeah, please, please tweet it. <laughs> I don't, I don't want somebody that I should tweet it too. But how I messed up. I want to say another word, but I'm trying to be. So I'm trying I want to, you to say it. No, no. Say it, say it. No, no. No, no. You should. Yeah, please. You write it. At the bottom line is why, why, why? I mean, you know, look, you you see me with this I, with this young lady. Obviously, I'm into this young lady. Why are you saying? I don't, so don't holler at me now. I think it happens with men more because oh, a man that does that is, is, is they might get beat up. Nah. I think more so it happens look, you, with well, women. I don't know how most men are. I, like, soon, if I see a ring on your finger, I'm not even thinking about you. If I know you're with another dude, I ain't even thinking about you. Like I said, so that's not how females are. Like, say, they will do some crazy stuff. You could be with your person, and they'll do some little, oh, I know. you know. I know. And, and that's my point. On you, like. And that's my point. I mean, why do we, why do you guys wait until we you decide guys. to commit? I mean, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Ooh. But why do you ladies wait for men to get in, in committed relationships, I'm and then you want to kind story. of pull throughout them? I believe that's an insecure woman that does that. Well, there's a whole bunch of insecure women. <laughs> I don't think it's insecure. I, I mean, we love a challenge. A challenge of what? How can I steal? How can I steal? How can I steal him? I'm not saying I want anybody. No, I don't want anybody. I don't want nobody's man. I think that's like we all like a challenge. Just to see. Look, man. Look. She said not that challenge. If that's your girl, right? If that's your girl, she could find a beautiful lady. I ain't checking. I ain't checking her. It's not gonna be a challenge. I ain't checking her. What if I turn around and she gives you the look? That would be fucked up. That and that has happened. Grimy. I'll be on, That's yeah, what exactly, it means. Exactly. It means I'm grimy. on the train. I'm on the A train, sitting across my my business, looking at my papers, looking at my statistics, right? <laughs> the and, millions. <laughs> the millions. And, and, and homegirl is, has her hand on her man's shoulder, giving me the googly eyes. People do that? Don't fucking yes, look at do. me. Some people Don't look just, at me now. That means some, you want a I think eye. some people get off on being sneaky. That's what I mean about somebody being insecure because you have to build yourself up to try and take somebody that's with somebody instead of finding somebody on your own. Like that's I, what I, I mean about I, that. I can't I can't understand that because I don't understand me. I don't I yeah. wouldn't even date somebody my friend dated. Like I don't do that. I don't care if it was right. ten years after, five years. I mean years I, after, I've been there. I don't do it. But today, presently, no. Yeah, I, I just I can't get with that. I don't understand. I think everybody has a tendency nasty, to do it. Right? Yeah. No, oh, he's like, wait a minute, <laughs> we got a story here. <laughs> like you, I mean, how could you kiss on somebody and you know, like, yeah, 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 I know what you're saying. Come on, man. I know what you're taking. Yeah, but come on, but it happens so much though. Mm -hmm. It happens it so much these days. It's like almost like it's. It's. I think I don't think it's sexual though. I really don't. I think it's well, more I think psychological. It's like, I think nah. it's like she said. I think, I think it's. I think not if you security. have the right friends. Because let me tell. Yeah. Let me give you a scenario. Right. She's with him, right. and I'm pressing him. <laughs> he fights me off for a little while, but then Keep he finally going. gives me the okay. Mm -hmm. Now that you gave that. me the okay, I don't want you no more. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's like the, the, the game oh, is over now. Oh, that was the, ooh, I know what you saw. The game is over yeah, now. Now, it's that now I'm on to the next one. Yeah, because you got the attention. Yeah, like, yeah, okay. That's somebody that's going to get beat up. A lot of people. After a while, they're going to get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> she like, yeah, like, we, we in agreement. <laughs> is there another Pisces in the room? Yeah. Like, ooh, what, what's your sign? Cancer. Cancer. Oh, oh no, my cancer. Cancer. Oh. That, that's, that's uh, June, right? July. July, July. Yeah. And June. Both my brothers. Too, the end of June. No, it's the beginning of June. My son is June 30th. He's a cancer. Hey, there's, oh, there's, there's, somebody, there's somebody on the line. Uh, I think Jerry? Yep. Hey, hey, Jerry, you just wanted to uh, acknowledge uh, Brother Unique. Go ahead, brother. Yo, Unique, what's going on, man? I'm just calling to say keep up the good work, man. Keep grinding. I appreciate I it, man. Thank you, man. Hey, yo, my dude, you from Brooklyn, too? Yeah, from Brooklyn. 
You know that that's what's up. You know, it, you know, it, it's 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 one thing when you have women support, but I think it says uh, I think it sends a great message when you have brothers who kind of support each other. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So it, I commend you, brother, that uh, you know you feel that what the brother uh, Unique is doing so much that you called up tonight to uh, kind of just encourage him to keep doing what he's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, commend you for that. Thank you. Thanks, man. Uh, Thank I, you. I, yeah. I really appreciate it because it. I find that today people are so prideful, you know what I mean? Like, I remember growing up, and if I saw Usher walking down the block, I'd be like, yo, I love your song. Man. And now people are, like, too cool. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. there's more homophobes. Oh, what? <laughs> that one? That's real. That's the deal. That's the damn I mean, people in general. Though, I mean, you know one mean? guy is like, what? <laughs> I feel like it's different though for for singers and rappers. You'll you'll pound a rapper up all day mm -hmm. to say yo that shit is yeah, hard, I don't think so. but you won't stop a singer and say I appreciate your music. Do you I think, think that's, that's true. only in New York? York? Maybe. Yeah. Like New York, New York is, is hard. New York is hard. It's a standstill audience. Music, like, they won't admit that they really feeling you. Like yeah. exactly. I mean, a dude yeah. feeling a dude. Oh, yeah, yo, Jay Z, that's my yeah. cool. Like what? Yo, I love only if they in the barbershop. You will never hear a man saying time. how really? much he loved yeah. Donnell Jones. Never. Mary J. No, no, no. But you know what? I think it's certain male singers that that other men will, will embrace. Uh, it depends on what the style of the singer it is. It depends I mean, on the maturity of the man. I want to know who you too. Band. Ooh, huh? Like singers, male sing like I mean that you feel like cross barriers as far as females and men go. Um, you want to go first? There you go. There's a, a whole bunch of Prince, Michael Jackson, Babyface. Maxwell, and and these are all men that did their thing, and dudes yes. wanted to be like them, and women adored them. So I'll take it back a little bit further. I'll say Luther Vandross, uh, Isaac Hayes, Teddy Pendergrass, mm -hmm. Barry White. You know, I kind of like uh, Barry White and Isaac Hayes, and I've had the privilege of, of really working very very closely with Isaac Hayes. Um, Isaac Hayes was one of those cats where you put on you put on a record. And the record speaks for what you're trying to do. You know, you have the young lady over the crib. He says everything that needs to be said and kind of sets up the whole scenario for you. The only thing you have to do is pretty much fall in sync and hopefully you have a good night with the company that you have. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's those classic soul singers uh, mixed in with the, the new singers today. You know, everyone that uh, Brother Unique just mentioned, uh, on top of that, I could throw in uh, Neo. There's just a whole slew. I, I love Chris Brown as well. There's a whole slew of, of new artists that are standing on the shoulders that of, uh, of greatness that have walked before them. So um, I think it just depends. I mean, R. Kelly, of course, the Pied Piper. I mean, that dude, that yeah. dude is quintessential. I mean, yeah, yeah, he made I mean, an yeah. album that's out now, He's amazing. right? That <laughs> that that only he could really get away with. To be honest with you, because I know someone else who was signed to a major label who kind of came up with the same style that R. Kelly has now in the brand new album, mm. but because he was a new singer coming out, he didn't get the same embrace. He got nominated for a Grammy, but he didn't get the same embrace. Now, I, I think his deal is pretty much over and done with. But R. Kelly, on the other hand, came out with this brand new uh, CD, and it's already like bonfire. It's like all over the place. Mm -hmm. And he took it back. You know, I spoke with him. He said... He wanted to go back into the lives of, of a Sam Cooke, of a Jackie Wilson. Uh, you know, a lot of old school singers that I didn't even grow up with, my mom grew up with, but he wanted to go back that far and kind of bring it up to a new generation. Mm -hmm. Now everybody can take a chance. You know, you might not be able to do that and survive. Mm -hmm. you, it will be great music, but you may not be able to do that and survive. And that, that mm -hmm. makes a big, big difference. Today. So, he killed that award show. Yeah, I was about to say that. Oh, the, beat? It. Was the, the BET, BET Award. Right? He so destroyed it. I was like, oh my God. Like, really? It's yeah. one thing to be a singer, it's crazy. but to be an entertainer. He's a singer, a writer, yeah. and a producer. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's yeah. what, you can't stop that. How to mm -hmm. move no, the crowd, how to how to keep their attention mm -hmm. on you. You know, not, not the production, on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people pay more attention to the production. Like, you'll, wow. like, okay. Nicki Minaj, for instance, I personally don't think she's that good, but the production is why I listen to her music because I like the beat. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily like the lyrics. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. I think it's rare to find people that you're drawn into. You know yeah. what I mean? That really have star power, and I, it's plenty nice that I stay up 
Or maybe every night, and I'm watching He's YouTube like, maybe every night. <laughs> of artists that came before me or people that I admire, and I'm just like, damn. My like, neighbor take me. If they cry and you feel like you want to cry, and if they're happy, you feel the same yeah. way. And, and these are things that I try to do as an artist, and especially as a new artist, because there's so many people that just sing and or do what they do, but you don't feel no connection. Right. You don't feel. Right. You, you don't like feel. It? Yeah. I you don't feel like the well. music came from yeah. them. Yeah. You know, there's so many different writers behind artists and it's like you know when you read the booklet you're like well you just need the authenticity and then there's like three I mean, other it's, people it's behind them it's like, okay mm-hmm. my music personally is but like you gotta, a little from here like some people are just performers yeah and, and some then people, some are, just people are artists like it's, it's just different. a voice <laughs> yeah, that's true you that's know? very very true there's very unique styles uh mm-hmm. really unique uh hot artist that's on the rise i'm lenny green from kissing after dark we got Marquita, we got Cadaver with us tonight, and we have you. Thank you. Look, for those of you watching, you can post up any questions. Uh, if you will have any questions for Bill Unique, uh, I'll throw it to him, and he will answer you directly tonight, all right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we even have a line that you can call into, 212-352-5775 is the number. All right, so please call us up, and uh, we will engage on that as well. Uh, we have somebody on hold. Cadaver, could you grab that? All right, here you go. How are you tonight? Thanks for calling. Hello? Hello, what's your name? Gavin. Hey, Gavin, do uh, you have a question, a comment, or a statement for Unique or something? Yeah, I have a question for Unique. I wanted to know if he actually, you know, walked like he met um, a girl he found that was interesting, and then he wanted them to be uh, DCF, but um, actually they turned out to be a maniac. <laughs> no. Wow, wow. That's wow, what it is. Wow. He did a Jersey Shore reference. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to be 100% honest, yes. Oh, you haven't? No, I have. Do you oh, you have. But can you tell, though, like, by looking at them? Because, you know, there's some crazy fans out there. <laughs> I think. The, tr- the true maniacs are mm. able to disguise themselves, so you don't know at first. <laughs> like I said in the song, you, I, call me crazy, but I love it. And, and in the lyrics, I say, one minute we just chilling, and the next minute you crazy. So, like I said, I have. Uh, all right, <laughs> all right. That's all the question I had. Um, your music is great, and I'm a supporter. So, yeah. Thanks for supporting. I actually know who you are, so thanks for calling me. <laughs> all right, cool. Bye. Later, man. Wow, wow. Uh, so, some one person posted up. Uh, how old are you again? Twenty one. Uh, obviously, uh, you're such a sweetheart to so many. I, I think you know his new record, his new single is called Maniac. I'm trying to really get to the bottom of it. You know, he's letting it out bit by bit. <laughs> uh, but we'll get we'll get it eventually. We'll get it eventually. Uh, the 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 video debut is Tuesday. No, it's Monday. Monday, Monday night. Monday night at Pop Burger in Manhattan. Please come on out, support the brother. Uh, we're going seven to one. So seven p.m. to one, and we have an open bar. It's gonna be off the hook. Wow! 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 Open <laughs> bar. Top show. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, open bar is open bar, isn't it? <laughs> that's what's up. That is what's up. That, that's that's big team. That's a good look. You you know you compete against Prince. That's, that's a big night. Monday oh, night's a big night. You know, I, I heard he, he was having a show. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, only his fifth one. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't trying to be that. No, no, I got you. I got you. It's not going to be that early, though. It's saying it's it's, well, it's Prince goes on at 7.30, so actually oh, you can go to him first before ooh, Prince. That's a good look. Indeed. That's a good look. Wow. But he's he's partying longer than Prince. Prince is only going to give you a couple of hours, which is a good thing, but, you know, that that is the deal. Um, you executive produced, you just sneaked that, you snuck that out a little while ago. You, you executive produced... Your forthcoming album? Yeah, the one that's in Japan, and, and we're currently working on this one, too. The role of executive producing, um, why did you take on that role for your, your first record? I, I'm, like I said, it wasn't something that was conscious. From a young age, I was writing poems to girls that I didn't know how to speak to or, or letters, and my mom's like, you know, you can make money off of that. Mm-hmm. So I just started writing and getting better and trying things out. I say, what do you think about this and singing in school? So, you know, when it, it came to that I was recording the album, why not take the opportunity and sing what I know about and, and what sure. I'm dealing with and what I feel people can relate to. And um, there's 15 songs, and I wrote on every one except one. What's oh, the wow. name of that album? From Brooklyn to You. From Brooklyn to You. BK, baby. <laughs> He's like, yeah. But I, I'm really excited about it. Like I said, I have the number one single for four weeks so far, and um, it's a duet with Cherise. 
He's an international artist. And I, I just mm -hmm. saw that video a little earlier tonight. That, that's a hot video, hot song. Mm -hmm. um, what's the name of the song again? Wherever You Are. And you can go to YouTube and pull it up, correct? Yeah. yeah. Wherever You Are with Sharice. And I, I wrote that record with Claude Kelly. That, that's hot. That is really, really hot. He, mm -hmm. He's a promising talent, I'm telling you. Uh, and, and I'm happy and fortunate myself to have the brother uh, by my side tonight and uh, bringing him to you in, in a great way. We need to uh, introduce him to Smoke, Smokey. Smoke, <laughs> Smokey yeah. Robinson? Yeah. And you know what? I think that would be a great uh, meeting. If uh, that, That's classic legend to you. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Smokey is probably one of the most yeah. renowned consummate writers of all time. I don't know. I'm too young to know Smokey. I saw him on TV One, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Damn, he, was I he was dropping jewels on TV One, though. That's why I'm... Smokey, I'm telling you, you have, you've never seen Smokey in performance. Mm -mm. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to hook you up. We're gonna, I'm going to hook, hook, hook him up. That's I'm going to hook him up. Smokey is coming to town in a couple of weeks. Okay. Um, they are honoring Smokey at the Apollo Theater. Oh, wow. Um, and... We're all in the free. That's a lot of pressure on my back to bring everybody, but I know I got the brother. I know I got the brother. <laughs> um, I believe uh, he had told me it's going to be around, uh, I want to say the 17th. I know it's the week of uh, Valentine's. So okay. Valentine's this year is on a Monday night. So sometime that week, I want to say the 17th, uh, he's going to be honored at the Apollo Theater. But uh, definitely a young man, uh, definitely a man who you definitely need to meet because you are are the future of what's to come. And for Smokey uh, to have touched and, and met so many people in his life, um, it, it would be great to just have a wonderful meeting. And, and, a, and a, it's a wonderful photo op. And, and this brother travels with a lot of cameras around him. <laughs> Actually, he has. You have a reality show, right? A reality show? Don't you have a unique reality? Well, I have a lot of viral uh, videos up, and maybe in 2006, I, I had a, a viral show where it was weekly, keeping up with my fans and letting them know what I was doing. Not really stopping. We're still working on it, and um, still doing videos and let, like there's promo videos though for my day-to-day -day grind from the yeah, gym. Yeah, yeah, I figured to, that that was a part. To re okay. recording to even this is going to be edited up gotcha. to show people that it's really the work that's gotten me here without a label. Call, you know what I mean? Just word of mouth and people like you taking a chance to interview me. But it's not even taking a chance. It's, it's recognizing good and raw talent, and uh, you, you're blessed. You know, you have you have you have great talent, and great talent is something I think I can embrace. Anybody who's true to the game, these ladies embrace it. I mean, you know, these these two ladies are performers as well. So mm -hmm. if you know they embrace your your music as well, and they gra grab to what you uh, gravitate to what you have done, it's all about just people just understanding the game and, mm -hmm. and understanding what good music comes from oh, yeah. in all forms. Uh, that's what's up. Here's what I want to do. I want to go to that bowl, right? Now, there's a bunch of stuff that no one knows about, and, and before you leave, Brother Nick, you're going to contribute to the bowl as well. Okay. Um, these are generic questions. I don't know what's in there. They have been written for quite some time. Uh, so whatever is pulled, you have got to answer the question. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Whatever is pulled out the bowl. Uh, it covers a wide spectrum of a lot of things. So, Marquita, being so is right next to you. Juice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some Why don't you start yeah. first, Marquita? Yeah, this one. Thanks um, for locking us in tonight. We're going to find you. You said we got to tell the truth, right? A hundred percent? And well, I, I would am think so. I would think so. <laughs> Pulling so. this question for myself and answering it. Yes, you are. All right. All right. Okay. Wow, it's a long time. Have you ever cried during... Or after sex because you are emotional, <laughs> emotionally and physically fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Like no, like why would I cry? Like if I just like it was maybe, like the maybe. best ever. Like well, I wish I could say what I, I want to say. I, like, I really want to. I really wish I could say. I no. You know what I want to say. <laughs> no way. <laughs> cry like oh so good. No. 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 You ever met the right one? <laughs> yeah, you sure right, have right. I'm just saying, no. I got you, you know, okay. I'm so not, no. nobody's saying boo hoo hoo, but you know, just that one. No. No. Girl. No, I'm like, let's go again. I've had a man cry. Huh? This is not a You've had someone who cried for. have cried. I've had someone who's cried. Oh my God, you made me. Really? <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what happened? No, no. Really? Similar? Not, not as dramatic. 
Not like so I'm gonna keep it out. Keep it out. Keep it out. Crying, nothing mm-hmm. like that, right? Okay. Oh, question number two. <laughs> Swerve it around, brother. Swerve it around. Because whatever question you pick, you okay. must answer the oh question. My Lord. Is this? Oh, this is oh, my favorite yeah, piece one. of paper too. All right. Okay. Well, just pull with me, brother. Do. What is a good time to have sex? Joe? Okay, so Joe, Joe, Joe the singer. Oh, wow. Uh, he said, I get, we get artists to sometimes contribute to the bowl as well. So, you know, our uh, artists will throw in their question and we don't know. So, when is a good time? To, when was the question? Anything. <laughs> when is a good time Ooh. to have sex? When is a, okay, when is a good time? Whenever the time is right. Janet Jackson, anytime, any place. In the morning. Bye. In the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what about yeah. the morning? I thought guys like the morning, though. Know? I mean, I- Oh, I can have it anytime. <laughs> He's anytime, all right. Young brother, old brother, know where she's trying to go. I know where she's going. I know, you know where she's going with that, right? You know. Oh, oh I wasn't supposed to put that back in there. My bad. No, he's not a skip. He's not a skip. I'm last. Right, go. You're gonna get the best question. One of those Hawaiian bowls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where it got though. What do, you, what do you do, what do you do to revitalize your significant other after they've climaxed? Okay. Whoa, that's a good one. <laughs> what do you do, honey? <laughs> what do you do? I think that's a perfect time for uh, some after loving cuddling. I think that's a perfect time to embrace your lover. I think that's a perfect time to, you know, continue the romancing, but in a, in a softer way. And uh, actually, you're kind of letting them kind of just regroup. And um, within a few minutes, you should be able to go back in for round two if both of you are ready to kind of do that. But I think it's a wonderful time for you guys to kind of embrace the moment. So what do you do to revitalize? You embrace the moment. You continue the love making. You continue the, those tender kisses. Uh, you, you continue the caressing. You continue the, the little tete a the, the little patting. The, maybe you're playing with um, honey or you're playing with... Keep going, honey. like, let's get deeper now. Like, I like that. Like, keep yeah, going, yeah, keep yeah, going. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> He's starting that light. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, you, you continue romancing your, your lady, uh, fellas. I mean, that's what you do. You know, you don't just say, okay, look, I shot my load or she shot her load and let me Ooh. just get, you know, whatever. Ooh, no, I mean, yeah. you know, you... Yeah, you may want to you may want to pamper her a little bit more. You know, you may want to just hold her a little more. You want to give her some tender kisses in places that you didn't get to because the moment was right. You had to get in. You know, so that's what you do to revitalize the moment. That's all. Your turn. I thought she was gonna say, "Oh, I'm gonna get up and go get me a protein shake." Nah, no, no, no. <laughs> no, you have to do that. Okay, can I peek at just pick a dog like, question, my God. Right? It has it has a bowl. Bowl. Right. You gotta be extra all the time. At all the time. Do I enjoy kissing? I don't like this question. Well, that's what Y'all you, you know. just pick. Do I enjoy kissing? I mean, okay, I do enjoy kissing. I do like to kiss because I like my lips. But, but you really I don't like. kiss everybody. I don't put my lips I don't think the question body. was. Do you kiss everybody? I think the question I is, enjoy do you enjoy kissing? kissing? Yeah. Well, can you expand on it? I mean, aside from that little cheap answer that you gave? <laughs> can I expand on it? I mean, it's not... The art of kissing is a lost is art form. Obviously, we understand why. But it's a lost <laughs> art form. I mean, you know, look, you would think that you would think that a woman would know or appreciate or could give me a little bit of answer than that, right? I mean, I enjoy kissing because it's... it's um. You enjoy kissing the right person. Yeah, because all I right. So let's say you're people, with. So. No one says do you kiss everybody. No one says do you have I'm a kissing. It's like too many reality shows. So like everybody kiss. slobbing each other down. It's so gross. Whatever. All right. If I kiss so if you got on a reality show, really you're not going like to do that. I, I'm not a kisser. So you're not going to do it. But I do, when I do do it, I in do the like first it. week. <laughs> He's out here in the first week. And I was told. Get, get, I'm, get a good look at her in the preliminaries because she's out I'm of there. I'm saying, the first New York wasn't kissing everybody. <laughs> she wasn't? Well, she kissed a couple people. She kissed everybody. A couple is enough? Who knows what a couple means these days? It's just like you, you people used to wear a couple like they used to wear several. Mm-hmm. That means beyond yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, it could be beyond one. So you're going in week one of a reality show. You, well, obviously, what were you doing? Are you well, staying I was, from one I, to one? I was told I was a good kisser, so. She's going week two. <laughs> That's how that goes. That's how really that goes. 
So we go back around? Like, what? No, 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 we're not going. <laughs> yeah, let's go back around. We go back around? Like, what happened? Go ahead, go ahead. Let's just go through the bowl. No, we can't oh, no, no. go through the bowl. That, that brings out the, the mystic of it all. Oh, okay. Let's see. Do you like to use pleasure toys when making love? No. I like to use them when I'm alone. <laughs> Oh wow, do you name your pleasure toys? No. That was no. a good one. I like that one. That's the truth. <laughs> so you only use your pleasure toys. You only Selfish. use your pleasure toys, right? Like your your man doesn't use Men the pleasure don't toys? Like right? toys. <laughs> they don't like it. Yes, I do. No, they don't. They don't like dildo. They it, what else is it? What they don't do? like dildo. These? Like I don't like, understand. What? My shit don't look like that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like they they oh it's freaky, but they don't want to see that. They'd be like, what? All right, brother. Oh, do you know? I mean, I'm sure, brother, your age. Now you're thinking about toys. <laughs> He's turning thing. red. Are you turning red? <laughs> I'm usually the one turning red. It's good. I, I, what, what do you say about uh, women with toys? <clears throat> Are you for it, against it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Whatever, whatever pleases me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't use toys. Like well, this. there's really no toy for you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying I, 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 I don't toys. use toys on only. You know, you no? They don't like, guys don't like toys. They yeah. like you to have, you should, if you, if you got a woman, you, you marry, let her have a toy. That's a good way. <laughs> What'd you say? To, if what? You got a wife or a girlfriend, like when you're away, you need a toy to stay. When you're away, you leave, leave the, the toy, toy to, to stay. stay. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. But see, that's going to work in his situation because he's in the music industry. He's going to be gone. <laughs> so instead of his girl, wow. she's going to be that's a whole like, you need to introduce that to the, you know, if you get serious, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, hey, this <laughs> and hey, she might call you in this the This is unique. Like, hey, I want you to call your dick yeah, and tell him I'm not exactly, here. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I have three speeds, right? Oh, well, right, gotcha. we need a five speed one. That's the wow. key to Okay, all right. So, when you're away, wow. Well, oh, it's my turn? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Funny. How hungry is my sexual appetite, and how often do I need or want it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's not an answer, yeah? That's an answer. Good answer, good answer. That means I'm thinking about it right now. Which got, it, got it, got it, got <laughs> it. 21, I, I, baby, I, I, 20. I mean, as, as long as the right situation, I'm not just going around boning everybody, right, but right. if I'm with somebody or if I'm dealing with a person, like, if that's what we do, then... That's 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 what's that's what's going down for the night. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I remember that was twenty one, that was a long time ago, right? I got it. Oh, that was only like twenty years ago. Yeah, right. You're twenty three, remember. Yeah, right, twenty three, that's right. You're right, so you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. What non sexual thing can a man or woman do that actually turns you on? What? Non sexual. Huh? What non-sexual thing, oh, what non-sexual thing can a woman, can a woman do that actually turns you on? Non-sexual. I know what it is. Um, can we take a guess? Yeah, go ahead. I want to take a guess too. Wait. Yeah, <laughs> take a guess. Because he's a nasty nice man. Oh, see, I. But that's a sexual thing. No, go, okay, go ahead. On. Okay. <laughs> it's a, no, no, no. What non-sexual thing? Oh. So I, you're right. I mean, I am. A, now that everybody you. knows him, feed me. Yeah, feed you. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say like eat a fruit, like a peach or something. Right. That that that's a good one. Bobby that's pop good one. or that's a bomb that, pop. That is a sexual thing good though. Thing. I, th here's the thing. Eat a bomb pop is not sexual. Yes, it is. Oh, depending on how she's doing. Oh, okay. But uh, perfume. And here's the crazy part: eyebrows. Don't even ask me why. <laughs> What? I was like, what? Eyebrows. It's some like, tattoos. What the fuck? It eyebrows. is tattoos. <laughs> tattoos is a big thing. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I know why I probably got turned on to tattoos, but I'm not going to share Was that it with you. Is the same one? 
No. Saying eyebrow girl. No. <laughs> he's talking about he's talking about the teacher. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. She had no, she had no teacher. No, she, she had no teacher. No, she had great eyebrows. Good eyebrows. Great eyebrows. <laughs> uh, it, it's something about I, I don't know what it is, but it's something when a chick has some great eyebrows. I'm like, wow, she oh got some great God. eyebrows. Yeah, so eyebrows. So you're watching, you're standing there, watch her do her eyebrows. It can't be penciled in though. <laughs> no, he wasn't the pencil, the pencil and eyebrow. I'm talking about natural hair, yeah, nice thick. Oh, and if they're naturally like shaped, the eyebrows. Then I'm looking at your booty from that point. He's looking at her booty first. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? He's going to try to front. Like, he's, I'm going to eyebrows. Oh, let me see. No, but eyebrows is really good. You got good eyebrows, but your booty flat. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I have said that in my mind. Wow, she has great eyebrows. She has no ass at all. Yeah, he needs ass. No uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I've seen him look at girls. Anyway, hey, isn't it time for you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pick your question. Yeah. Let's be on with this. Yeah, we got, it's time to get out of here, y'all. All right. Let's hope this is a good one. This is going to be it for tonight. What? <laughs> what happened? Would you want a woman to romance you from start to finish? <laughs> So let's flip it. Would you want a man to romance you from start to finish? It says for male, yes. Oh, so let's pick another one. Yeah. Give me that. Let's see. I should just take the paper. How about you just take a piece of paper, just like right away? How about that? What would you do to impress a man sexually? There you Be go. myself. Be yourself. You said what though? Yeah. <laughs> he said, what you say? What you say again? Yeah, that's just a beat. I'm going to have to do anything oh, to no. impress a man sexually. It is what it is. I hear that. On that note, it's been, uh, it, it is what it is for tonight. And, and I really appreciate you being here with us. Uh, it's been nice having this brother right here, Brother Unique. Uh, awesome. Please uh, give Me everybody too. a yes. Thank you. Let's uh, let, let's uh, get a, a one over once again, man, of how people can stay in contact with you and how can they keep up with you. I know you're pretty much on, on everything these days, so bring us up to date. I'm on Twitter at I am Unique Zayas. I am Unique Zayas, so you and I, wait, I am, so it's I A M U N I Q U E Z A Y A S, and my website is launching soon, which is I am Uniquezayas.com. I am uniquezayas.com. Look out for that. When do you expect another launch of it? Um, I say Monday. Or in a couple weeks. But Monday night. It's Maniac premiere. It's the Maniac premiere. I can only imagine. The trailer's up online right now, so you can see it. Where can, we, where can we see it? Uh, YouTube. You can go on I am uniquezayas.com right now and you see the trailer. Okay. That's what's up. Um, so, I'm not going to type it, but we'll have Vito type it in. Okay. How about, how about you do? You're good. You're good at that. Um, and let let let's uh, let's oh, also quick quick talk plug about in. It's on that's enough dot com. It's on that's yeah, enough dot com. <laughs> and, and it's going up on lennygreen.com. dot com. No doubt. No doubt. Um, so uh, aside from that, man, your, your song "Maniac," the first impact here in the United States. I'm sure that's going to do extremely well for you. Thank you. Um, I, I like the video already, and I know it's going to uh, yep. definitely. We, we need a ballad. Eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, I need that ballot. We got something to play you if you hear it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you want to hear it now? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Let's let's hear that. I need to hear ballot, you know, because Kissing After Dark, baby, you know, it's all about love and romance. So I definitely need to hear the ballot because I was like, great song, too up tempo. And you took a Maniac. She's a Maniac. Oh, Michael, 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 some fellow. Yeah. So you know about that old school. Michael, some fellow. She's a Maniac. Great nice song, dance. great song. Yes, yes, yes. Right. We're actually gonna play you something off of my um, Japan album. Is a, a ballad called oh, that's, Forever. That's so. what's up. That is what's up. So only forever. Uh, but this brother is doing some some great things. Uh, Miss Marquita. Hopefully, we'll hear some music from her this year. You know, Marquita is, you know, hip hop artist. She's fly. She writes. She produces. Are we gonna hear something from you this year? Definitely. Just one word answer. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely, Definitely. Yeah. That's how you know it's yeah, happening. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, you know, we're getting, okay. you know, it's popping. That's what's up. That is what's up. We actually brought something for you, though. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So, y'all won't be able to hear it, but y'all will. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to play the record right now. We're going to okay. play Only Forever. Only Forever. Yeah. So, stick around. I want you to hear this. This is, uh, this is definitely an exclusive. Yeah.
But thanks for viewing tonight. Appreciate the love. Um, next week on Tuesday, Tuesday night, classic artist Lilo Thomas, Brooklyn boy, Brooklyn cat, had a lot of hits back in the 80s. You can join me on Tuesday night on Kissing After Dark. Make sure you'll be here. Uh, we have a lot of other special guests coming through, including, I know Iman is scheduled, the supermodel. Iman is uh, scheduled to come to the show. Uh, Russell Simmons just came, Mint Condition just came. And I, I'm losing the thought of who else is coming. But Mike Epps. Mike Epps is scheduled to come in. So keep it locked into Kissing After Dark because you just never know who's going to come by. Again, here's the new song from Unique. something hot that's his name is unique watch out for it from the forthcoming CD album uh, don't forget Monday night the maniac video debut will happen at pop burger in the meatpacking district you don't want to miss it come on out will you be performing that night as well I might just have one mic it's really about the video but if that's what happens Something tells me he's true talent, he's true world like that. So, you know, if the moment strikes him and you want that to happen, and I'm more than certain, brother, you will definitely end up jumping on that microphone because it seems like your bass already is, is excited about you. So uh, they're going to want to see more than the video. 
The video is hot, though. The video is real hot, and you're going to like it if you haven't take, took a peek at it already. You're definitely going to like it. But At the preview. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, look, thanks again for locking in with me. Appreciate it. Thank you, Brother Unique. Thank you, Ms. Martina. Thank you, Cadabra, as always, for being with me. I am Lenny Green. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Lenny Green. Uh, check me out, LennyGreen.com. Check me out on Facebook, Lenny Green's Kissing After Dark page. Don't get pissed at me if you go to Lenny Green, fam, uh, the Lenny Green uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook page. I'm, I'm already at capacity. I almost feel like I'm unique. Um, uh, I, I'm not there yet. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get to your stage. Yeah, You're right. Page. Whatever. But you go if you go to let, go to if you go to uh, LennyGreen.com, you can connect directly into my YouTube channel, my fan page, my Twitter. Everything's right there, including my UStream stuff. So you can see anything that you miss because we do this. You know, Cadabra and Marquita are here with me most of the times, and you can catch up on the shows that you miss. You can see the many people that have come through. Uh, all the videos that have come through on, on oh, countless man. occasions. So please do that. Do that. You have a YouTube page already? YouTube.com slash Unique Star Power. There you go. Until next time, baby. Thanks again for being here. We really do appreciate you all the time. Until next time. That's Peace. Good night. That was fun. Hey, man. Thank you, brother. I really want to bring you back um, for the live show. One spectacular show featuring the stylistics, the dramatics, the Manhattan's blue magic, and new birth. The 70s soul jams, Valentine's concert, Saturday, February 12th, at the Beacon Theater, hosted by Felix Hernandez. For more info, log on to MarquisConcerts.com. Tickets are available at the Beacon Theater box office, Ticketmaster.com, or by calling 1-800-745-3000. I never got your name. I'm not going to you. I'm not going to you. You got big mouth, right? Get in the zone. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Cleaning your fuel system can help restore miles power. She was over. She was great. Everything was like, oh, uh-oh. Right now at AutoZone, buy one bottle of Tech Line Complete Fuel System Cleaner and get a second bottle free. It's two 12-ounce bottles for the price of one. Restrictions apply. See store for details. More impressive for you. It's AutoZone. It's AutoZone. It's AutoZone. It's AutoZone. It's AutoZone. It's AutoZone. Rewarding loyalty. Now that's progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates may build Village, Ohio. Cumulative benefits are limited. Not available in all states and situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. A perfect combination of mixology and comfort. Yeah, like it's DJ Quad. Putting in work on 98.7 Kiss FM. Being able to like ask questions and like say things and you know.